starting the audio. So now everybody should be all synced up. Uh-oh. It says loading document, but it's not doing anything. Okay, cool. Session 14, getting up there near the end. Are you gonna record it? I am you. recording. Oh, you are recording it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to me having to record it. So I look at the bottom to see if it's recording instead of the top. Yep, top. Potential hallucinations, visions, or outright betrayal plagued our would-be heroes as they tried to survive their third night in the roaming forest. Sudi, seemingly suffering from some hallucination, had attacked Leonala, followed by Lee paralyzed as she watched the Silent One plunge its talons deep into the base of Sudi's skull. Lee watched helplessly as the Silent One then dragged Sudi off into the woods. Hours later, Sudi returned calmly, looked at Lee, placed a hushing finger on her lips, and then lay back down to sleep as if nothing had happened. The watch is completed, some of the group feeling rested, others less so. Uniformly, however, each of our heroes found that they had developed gaps in their memories. Some significant pieces of their lives, their pasts, events that were formative to who they were, were somehow missing. This deeply unsettling realization led to a much more somber mood as the day began. As the party traveled onwards, following the path, as the tree bark changed from burnt wood to white bone, blood, and pus with black leaves and long dark strands of moss that appeared as if it were hair. Oozing pustules occasionally burst and some of the members of the group seemed to recognize faces in the trees. Speeding up the pace to pass through this horrifying section of the forest as quickly as possible, the group heard rasping whispers elevating to voices as they, path, as they passed on the side of the path. As their attention was drawn to these voices from the other side of the path, one particular tree lashed out at Lee, smashing its flesh and bony branches hard into her as she met its gaze and was overcome with sorrow. Sudi, seeing this attack, threw herself into a rage and rushed into attack. Shortly after, the party seemed unsure about whether to run or to fight as the flesh tree seemingly did its best to take advantage of the disorganization as the combat went on. Can our heroes endure the trials to come? Will the team's resolve hold up? Will odds roll in their favor? Fear the strangers in your midst. Never play games of fate. And I believe we left off at the top of a round of combat with Nona having just gone down um, and is in death saves. Um, several people, I'm pretty sure, are fairly injured. You'll have to remind yourselves of what your HP is. Now, I remember um, first Nathalie went down and Sudi rushed her away from the fight and then Nona went down and Sudi rushed her away and then someone healed her. That is correct. Yep, that is correct. Um, we find ourselves at the top of the round um, with Sudi and you have moved outside of the range of the tree as it stands right now. Still within range is Wid and I believe Edie, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Who am I um, close to? And did I hear correct that Nona just went down and it's just Nona or was somebody else down? Just for uh, Nona went down two turns ago i'm at one hp now 
Okay, so you did get stabilized. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, you know who really needs some help is Mavly. I believe Mavly is also pretty badly injured. Mavly is fine. We're just fine. <laughs> Everything is fine here. Mavly is not fine. Okay, so top of the round, we have Sudi. Okay. Now, do Edie and Wid look like they're uh, intending to move this way or are they intent on the tree? Um, Wid. Wid does not seem terribly inclined to move. She seems, for the most part, content on helping her fire burn down this tree. Edie's itching to finish this herself. thing off, but she's she's starting to look rough. But she's stubborn. Okay. In that case, Udi will rush back in and attack it. All right. As as we kind of yo-yo people <laughs> back and forth. Um, okay. Sudi rushes back in. Uh, I assume you're attacking with your... Naginata, but not recklessly. Okay. With your Naginata, but not recklessly. Gotcha. All right. Go ahead and make that attack roll. Oh, I have all damage. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> should be... Uh, 20, not natural. 20 will certainly hit. And the damage was nine. Okay. Uh, and this is slashing damage? Yes. Cool. And as expected, you've, you've hit this thing a few times. Your damage is definitely not doing as much as you expect it should. Okay, uh, anything else for yep. Sudi? Okay. Uh, next up we have Nona. Having just All come right. back to consciousness. Where am I? Uh, you got... I, you were I got, just I got at put the edge down by Sudi. Right, you were just at the edge of its reach. We're just All out right. of reach. I'm just at All the right. edge of its reach. Um. All right, she's gonna just like roll over and stand up. Okay. Um, and like where she was laying, there's like a small outline of just like blood. Mm-hmm. She, she's she's like I'm I'm too old for this. Um, feel you, sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is Mavly? Are are you still in range of the tree? You're so cute. I don't know. Mavly is out. out of the way thing. Mavly is out of range. Yeah, I, I thought so. I thought you and I kind of both did that thing where we we moved kind of. Sorry, I am camera free today. Sudi I actually okay. carried uh, Mavly out. Well, then I know you tried to like get. She tried to. She walked back in and then back out again. Yeah, it was a thing. But I think we're both out. Um, and uh, okay, so. Given that, I think I'm going to do some more. Um, we'll see. I'm going to do. Can I give Leon hands to both of us as, as one turn? I think you can only do it to one person per turn. Yeah, okay. Um, in that case, She's gonna, um, she's just kind of gonna go over to wherever Mavly is, or if she's, or if Mavly's closer to the tree, kind of be like, come on, Mavly, let's go sit over here for a second. I think okay, it's a very good plan. Ow. To, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and she's gonna, um, 
she's going to tend to one of her own wounds first. Um, no offense, Mavly. Um, but she I'm at one HP. I'm I'm at death's door. There's a gaping, I don't know, there's like a hole through my stomach. You can see right through it. We're gonna we're gonna work on that. Um so I'm gonna give myself uh, four points of lay on hands. So mm -hmm. I have four left. Okay. And mm -hmm. I think that's all I can do. So that's what we're gonna do. Good. Yep. All right. Um, I'm I'm kind of like seeing the the sirenscape discussion. Uh, I don't actually use the uh, the desktop player. I use the oh. desktop uh, master control. When I play music, I play it on my phone through the app. I never have to update it or anything. So oh. maybe that is a solution. Well, I only use desktop. Thank okay. You. Yeah, I've I'd never have trouble with it. So I, I don't know what the issue is. All right. Um, up next is Lee. Okay, where am I in proximity to in regards to other players within five feet? I uh, you are, I think, within five feet of most of the group, with exception. Uh, to Wid and Edie and now Sudi, who has moved away. Okay. And uh, the tree I'm within, do I have to move up in order to melee strike the tree or am I close enough to do that? Right. Yeah, you would have to move closer to melee attack the tree. Okay. Um. Okay, Nona stabilized. I'm going to stay next to Nona. Um, so Nona is still prone and stabilized, but not... Nona stood up. up. Okay, stood up, okay. But yeah, she appears um, stabilized. Um, for my brief talking in my turn, um, I turn to her and say, do you want to get out of here? Just to gauge how she's a. You're muted, Chrissy. My bad. Um, you were talking to Nona. Yeah, I'm trying to gauge whether you like where you're at or wishing to vacate. <laughs> no, no, we're 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 just gonna stay outside of the the danger zone, hoping that Wid and and Edie will just come out when they're ready. I guess. <laughs> Okay, and Nona's not within strike distance of the tree currently, or she mm -hmm. is, or not. Okay, okay, cool. Sorry, I was trying to figure Sorry, out. Need to do that. Okay, so if she's not in strike distance of the tree, then um, will my thirty movement speed take me to uh, attack the tree easily without needing to dash or anything? Yes. Okay. Um, well, don't have the best, best uh, stuff to hurt the tree with, but I'm gonna, if I go up to, um, are Sudi, Wid, and Edie within five feet of each other, roughly in terms of like, could I be within five feet of the whole group or do I have to choose? I'm imagining Edie being about in the middle between them and then each Actually, Sudi would probably be behind Edie, and so they would be five feet of each other. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, then. and and Wid had been. She stated previously that she was about ten feet away from the tree itself, and Edie was um, directly in front of her. So, yeah, Abby could be either beside Wid on on either side, or beside Edie. And she'd be beside Wid because she's got a beach weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, you you could in theory get within five feet of all three of them. Uh, is it fair to say I could go attack the tree and then move back to be within five feet of them all after I attack the tree for thirty movement? You can attack the tree while you're within five feet of all of them. Uh. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's, I, I that's true. That. That's correct. Abby is right. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm gonna. I look tired and weathered, but not not like I'm not still kicking kind of vibe with my readiness or Lee's readiness. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, I guess to Nona, uh, I'll say stay here and then I'll run up towards the tree to attack. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And <sighs> I guess I will take Bane of the Nameless and attack with that, uh, even though that's not really the best thing, and see if I can, um, any of the branches that have been going to strike, I might try and strike something with emphasis to um, remove its ability to attack or at least weaken the branches that are attacking everyone would be my intent since I know slashing damage is not super yeah. weird tree attack, but you know, here we are. <laughs> Okay. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Um, virtual tabletop not found. Uh, um, just ignore that. Okay. Uh, wait, does that? We're, we're not using a VTT, so it doesn't matter. Am I not updated? Can I roll damages? Um... Sorry, this normally rolls for whether it's going to hit or not, and it just went straight to damage. Uh, with slashing one hand, because I've got my shield in the other hand, would be eight, and I guess I could manually roll for. Whether oh, it... I um I can see your rolls. Did it did it show that yeah. I rolled? Yeah. Um. Okay. You're not a critical. Oh. Neat. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sorry. On a different computer and I look slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, so. it was a it was a 26 is what you got. Nat 20 plus six. Awesome. Well, I attack the tree. And um, since I did use my attack for my main action, I'm going to use my um, Bonus action. Um, roll that roll that damage again. Because that critical hit should be double dice. So just roll roll a D8 again. Okay. And this was a one-handed attack, yeah? One-handed because I'm still holding my shield. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, that that was a that was a to hit roll. She would roll damage. Uh, why did it do that? Did I? I try to just roll a d8 to have a roll. roll one, two. There we go. Oh, I mean, <laughs> cool. So that is 12, 13, you did 16 points of damage. Um, and with your magical sword, Bane of the Nameless, um, it seems to do the full amount of damage and in fact 16 points of damage is exactly how many uh hit points this tree had left oh. so um what does it look like when lee uh finishes off so to say this tree um well honestly lee was not expecting to finish off this tree with this hit <laughs> so she just kind of <laughs> hastily ran in and had kind of like a fuck it attitude with her body language and just slashed it and she looks surprised if that if that KO'd the tree she's kind of in disbelief with her impulsively 
running and attack. So. Yeah, and, and as she's attacking, you you can hear the voice of the the bane of the nameless in your mind saying, "Yes, yes, kill it. Use me to destroy it." And it's like er, coaxing you on, you know. All right, and then the as the tree kind of um, loses its sense of sentience. It, its branches kind of slump down to the side and uh, some of them break. And instead of breaking as you would expect it to wood, it, um, for wood to break, it kind of snaps like a bone. And you can see fragments and like um, this rotten sort of bone, pussy bone marrow kind of ooze out and it like sloughs down to the ground. And almost immediately you catch this wafted aroma of just rot and um just rancid fleshy pus and it's pretty nauseous and i will need each of you to make a um sanity saving throw do any of the bones look more clean or are they all just covered in they're all just nasty um should i let Tesno in the um, RP channel mm -hmm. making a save? Um, I'll roll for Cass, but you can definitely uh, say what happens, yeah. Okay. I got a 21 for Siri. Um, I'm rolling twice due to rolling with advantage due to the sword, so that's Hello? why I'm rolling twice. Three. Gives me a 14 Z. Well, okay. Nine. Oh, wow. Eight and a nine. Okay, great. So for Edie, Mav, Lee, and Lee, um, the three of you fail and you take uh, five sanity damage. And I will let you describe what sort of physical. Uh, reaction you have to this experience? Uh, if I'm going first, uh, then I would say that Lee's look of disbelief when she takes the tree down turns to a bit of a shock look and her face turns white and she kind of falls backward clumsily to the ground and just like stares at the tree in disbelief and kind of looks back at her comrades but looks a little confused like she's not aware where she is or just it's like a, like she has some disassociation kind of face going on with the moment all right how's Edie and Madly? Madly, you want to go first <laughs> sure uh, Mavly uh, is going to look down at all of that kind of mixed in with all of the other stuff that she's got going on and she's going to look over to, to to Nona and then she's going to grab the little carving she made of Ilmater earlier and go well that was unexpected and then she's going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Edie is just still gripping her hammer uh, bones or the the knuckles white uh kind of just heavy like heavy breathing staring this thing down just waiting for it to pop back up uh, for a chance to just angrily hit it again judy wrinkles her face in disgust as the tree falls apart but then she steps closer to it and tries to poke around the bones with her naginata. She seems dissatisfied that none of them look salvageable. I, I mean, it, de it depends what you want to use the bone for. Like there, there are definitely shards, sizable shards of bone or bone-like material. Are there some that would be easy to scrape off? Um, it, it, 
it depends how much effort you're willing to put into it. Uh, I don't know what what I would consider easy. Like there there are certainly like um, like at least half clean already. Fleshy bony branches that have like broken off from you guys hitting it. Um, I wouldn't say they're clean by any stretch of the imagination. They're they're partially covered in this rotting flesh and pus, and there's like bits of bone, white bone showing with areas of the pus, and it's it's pretty gross. There, there is certainly no clean uh, bone, no. Yeah, she'll skip it then. Okay. Okay, so Mavly has passed out. And the tree uh, seems like to, to be unmoving. I would like to catch her before she hits her head on something. At this point, that's not going to do any additional damage. <laughs> just like <laughs> that. <laughs> so, so quickly, just like, oh, yep, okay, yep. Mm -hmm, just take on Maybe we should take a... Mm -hmm. Natalie has decided we're going to take a rest. We're going to take a little, little break. Just give, give me a second. Oh, that smells so bad. Yeah, it's it's absolutely noxious. Well, Sudi sits down and joins the others, assuming they're all just going to rest here for a bit. Um, I'd like to perform medicine on myself. Um, using using what? Do you have a healer's kit? Using a healer's my, kit. Yeah, could I use a healer's kit? Yeah, it's probably still out since I was using it on people, so um, I probably just assume I left it there given what was going on. So I won't take it. I'm not taking your stuff with us. <laughs> well, I do have a thief of joy. And there was only a couple um, uses used on the one. So um, at this moment, there's plenty left if that changes your opinion at all. But you're welcome to ask disbeliefly. <laughs> Haley, um, would you mind if I use this? Uh, she doesn't look towards you and just kind of nods slowly. <laughs> She'll take like some bandages and some okay. draws and disinfectant and stuff. Yeah, so you can go through and you you effectively dress and clean um, various wounds. Um, mechanically, this isn't going to do anything. Um, a healer's kit primarily is used to stabilize people. Would that help with any kind of sanity though? Like, especially for Nona providing additional care? That's a good point. Mm. I'm for it. <laughs> yeah, it, I, it'll, it'll recover two. We'll two, take it. Two sanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I rolled the die and that's what you got. Perfect. I love it. So um, who who are you using said kit dressing wounds on? Um, well, I was going to use it on myself, but also Mavly, but I'd wake her up first. But on myself first, just so I'm not actively... Uh, you know, gangrenous, and then... Um, okay, I, I don't think it would recover sanity for you using it on yourself. Well, and then I was also going to go madly. So, okay. so yeah, um, I, I think you using it on other people, like the act of, like, helping them and comforting them would, would recover sanity for them. For them? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Natalie, hey. Hey. What? what, uh, what? Um, you're in pretty bad shape. Could I? Yes. 
use this to help you out? She like gestures with like. Would that make you feel better? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Then sure. And while she's doing it, Mavly will cast press the digitation to make it more effective. Like she's really cleaning things. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Awesome. Uh, So uh, as far as mechanically, is this a short rest that you're taking here? Yeah. I think uh, that would be a good idea. We sure can try, but I don't know. Yeah, sure. Sounds sure. Okay. And during the rest, um, Sudi steps over toward Lee. She bends down and looks in the middle of her forehead. Then he, she looks her in the eye and says, the half with Ma. Blares for a moment and sits back down. That seems to almost kind of snap Lee out of her disassociation because she emotionally reacts, even if she doesn't quite settle out of that fully yet. And her face turns from being more on the blank side to being on the, having an undertone of angry side. (laughs) But she still doesn't look at you and doesn't move. (laughs) She just feels mad. See y'all now. I'd say. Okay. If you would like, uh, go ahead and spend hit dice if you if you so desire. Would anyone else have been able to hear that? It depends. Was Sudi trying to be sneaky about it? Uh, she was being subtle, not necessarily sneaky. If you were right next to Lee, you might have heard. There you go. Using hit die to heal, like as if a short rest. Uh huh. As a short rest. Yep. Does it count as a taking a short rest right now? Yes. Or we- Where is the hit die button? It's under uh, the if, short rest button. Yeah. If you click on short rest, it'll ask you how many hit oh, dice okay. you wish to use. Yeah. I'm going to do second wind. Uh, you can so second the second wind recover on a short rest. Uh, once per well, is that an action actually? So that would be an well, action. Yeah, you can you can use it and then take your short rest, and if it recovers on a short rest, you'll get it back. Yeah. Oh wait, you know what? Once per short rest. Okay, so that doesn't mean I have to um, actually use it during the short rest. It just means I can do it once. You can use second wind anytime. Yeah. Oh wait, are you saying I could use it and then take the rest and then it would be reset? Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I clicked that's, short rest, but it didn't. That's a cool do thing about fighters. So if you click short Ooh. rest, there is an option for the hit die to be used, and you would just yeah. click how many hit die you want, and it I should did. tell you the total. And but it didn't change my hit points. Did it? Does it tell you the total under your short rest? It tells me what to roll. So under short rest, there should be a button like where it says, um, I believe barbarians get 1d12. Yeah. So click it, it'll roll for you. It, it didn't. And then when you hit um, take short rest, it should apply those hit points. It doesn't. You can do it manually. You can, you can click heal. I I can do it for you if you like. I got a seven plus two, so I guess nine. Yeah, so nine. There you go. Wait. Yeah, okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's much better. Does that happen? Does that do it? So I'm gonna roll again or does it work? Okay, complete short rest. Got it. Cool. Do the thing. All right. So, is anybody doing anything 
um, non-strenuous during this hour? As you're kind of sitting there yes. licking your wounds? I am okay. absolutely non-strenuous doing things like talking with Nona and perhaps hanging out with Edie or looking at my little gnomish buddy and being like, so how you doing? Edie, how are you doing? I am fantastic. Did you see what Nona Ellie has? Look, my clothes have never looked better. It's been days and days. I don't even smell bad right now. <laughs> She's phenomenal with that med kit. Thanks, okay. Nona. Uh, hey, Mabley. While you were um, down and out for just a second, I dropped something uh, in your in your jacket, like a kind of a, like a rock. Oh. oh. I mean, you Let can me hang on to it, but if you don't want to, I'll take it back. Do, do, do you want it back? Uh, <laughs> I'm a little confused by this. Uh, is this an, a, a gnomish a greeting thing? Is, or or how, how? Um, should I be randomly looking lucky? for rocks to give to you as like a, a symbol <laughs> of my affection? Is it like an otter thing where my favorite person gets a rock? <gasps> Am I your favorite person? It was a lucky thing to help you to not die. Oh. That's important. I appreciate that because I got to tell you, the past couple hours have been a, a little rough. A little rough. We'll get through it. Uh-huh. I hope so. If Mabley reaches in her pocket, she'll find that there is a, a little silvered caltrop. This is wonderful. Uh, okay, thanks. I love this so much. Okay. So after an hour passes, do you continue? Yes, if everyone else is down. Okay. Don't um, be suspicious. Now don't be suspicious. <laughs> uh, after after the short rest following the battle, the party travels for approximately another hour until you reach what appears to be a clearing. Um, off in the distance, about three miles away, you can make out what looks like a ruined structure of some sort, perhaps the remains of an ancient fortress. Um, about a half a mile ahead of you, you also spot an empty stone archway, similar to the previous two uh, that you had already passed through. Um, and you would you would easily clock that the path that you're on travels through this stone archway. Overhead, you can see heat lightning is visible. And it's as if the sky is slowly oozing blood. Does it look anything like Why a sunset? Though? It does not look like a sunset. It is much more troubling. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel obligated to ask, is it just me? Or does the sky look a little messed up? Oh, no. Uh, you're 100% uh, sane with this one. This is, uh, do the gods bleed? Severely disturbed. Well, they sure as heck sin, so I'm going to go with, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, during, during this previous hour, by the way, um, Wid would have conjured um, some of her magical it's berries. good berries. Yeah, and probably distributed... Uh, 
at least one to each of you. I think she can make 10. And there are six of you. So probably gave one to each of you and has a few extras. She might give the extras aside from to that, the very hurt ones. Aside from that, um, Wid also changes her form into that of a um, small rodent and seems to be behaving very um, detached as if she's gone into full hermit mode, like something was taken from her and she's like brooding. Um, and I think she, she would be hiding um, probably in or on somebody's pack as they're carrying. Yeah, I was going to ask if Wid would be okay with like a shoulder ride or something. Yeah, whose pack is kind of important. Yeah, I think so. Sui does not treat rodents very well. <laughs> Could we ask in Discord real quick? Give me a second. Uh, who she, who what? Ask what in Discord? If we could ask, like, Wid, if she's on, if she would. No, it, they, I see Christy's got it. Okay. Oh, I, I already talked to Wid about this. Okay, so oh. do you know who Wid would want to ride with then? Um, I didn't talk about who, but... Probably Madly. I, I'm okay with Madly. I think Wid would be done for a Mav ride. He doesn't have a pack. She could just hang oh, it on my shoulder. Yeah, Madly doesn't have a pack. <laughs> I mean, she's a rodent. It, it could be anybody. Um, let, let's say... Let's say Nancy or uh, Lee. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just say she's riding on Lee's pack. Lee would be fine with that. She's not afraid of rats or rodents or critters in general. Especially with growing up on a farm. But otherwise, um, Wid has become very detached uh, and is not really interacting. She's just kind of uh, gone into this very sulky kind of haunted uh, phase. She's clearly very, very troubled uh, with what has transpired. All right, so you are you are at uh, this clearing. You see gate in the distance. The sky appears to be oozing blood. Further on, you see what looks like a ruined fortress. Well, guess we keep going. So he steps toward the gate. Okay. Yeah, like a weird version of a save game, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. As you approach the archway, you definitely feel this sense of um, a very ominous sense of oppression, as if the whole world around you is kind of caving in on you. But as you look around, you can clearly see that nothing is moving towards you. You just have that a very clear sense of it, right? Um, you can you can see that as you look up at the sky, it's it's not super light. It's not like a twilight. Um, you just have those colors of light swirling in the sky. However, at this point, um, you've lost all of those greens and blues, and it's more like a a crimson and it's instead of swirling across the sky it's oozing down as if it were, were blood uh, and as you approach the gateway um, there is a small clearing uh, remaining on the on this side of the gateway after which uh, there is some forest beyond should, should we throw a thing in there just to? 
Natalie, this don't jump. Feels, this one feels different. But why though? <laughs> you gotta keep them on your toes, on their toes, Natalie. You can't do the same thing each time. You could throw the rat. <laughs> okay, the look means no. The look means no. It was just a suggestion. Sorry, Wid, mostly. Why do you need to throw someone? I'll just take off a shoe. I'll just take off a shoe and throw it. Okay. You take off a shoe and you throw it through the gate. And as it passes passes the threshold of the gate, your shoe vanishes. Ah, ah. This one's different. Why didn't it slow down? It could have slowed down. It might have sped up. Let's go. Onward. <laughs> If it sped up, it would have been. Yeah, maybe yeah. it just fell so fast we didn't see it. I'm going. Let's go. Nyrm. Staying on the path. Forward. Let's go. Walkie, 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 walking through the gate. Judy follows after, but seems a little hesitant about this gate. You would just follow the group if they're all going, because why not? Yeah. Edie will walk through um, hammer and shield at the ready, just silently, suspiciously keeping eyes peeled for anything and everything. As you pass beyond the third gateway, a single step takes you much further than expected. And you're briefly disoriented before you realize that you now stand within the great stone fortress at the mouth of a vast pit. Can we see Nona's shoe? Don't tell me my shoe went in the pit. You do. Is it is it in the pit? Yes. God damn it. The good news is we found your shoe. The <laughs> bad news is. Behind you. The better news is we didn't throw wit. Behind you is a stone archway with deeply etched runes glowing a faint red. Do we recognize the runes? They appear to be um, the same ancient draconic wards. But, but these are a little bit different from the ones that you've seen before. Um, if you wish, you can make an arcana check. Uh, Lee, do you want to ask the sword? These ones seem a bit. I got nothing. Lee seems to kind of snap out of her stare and then uh, says, sure, and then asks the sword, is there anything you can tell me, us, about this? Because this is not my area of knowledge. You You get the sense from the sword that it is um reading and the sword replies to you, it says these ancient wards appear to slow time within this place the intent seems to be to give those beyond more time to prepare for the return of the unspeakable evil that is the nameless god. Any idea how long we've been in here since I've met you, based on our version of time? Three days? <laughs> I think. <laughs> Lee does not feel very comforted <laughs> comforted by hearing that and uh, doesn't say anything in, to the, in response to the sword to imply that. But how, how long did it say? Lee, how long did it say? <laughs> uh, three days question mark. Oh, uh, you know, where I come from, there's a story of an owl and a, a candy confection and a child walks up to the owl and says, Mr. Owl. 
how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like this is not a Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pop kind of situation, but I am glad that the sword, Mr. Mr. Baneless, Nameless, thinks that it's been three days. Super helpful. I feel like it might be a little confused, though. What did the owl say? It said one, a two, a three, and then it bit the thing in half and insisted that it took three licks to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> I feel like that might be somewhat relevant to our situation. Hopefully not. I don't know. As I'm long not. as we're not the Tootsie Roll center of the Tootsie Pop, I'm okay with this. I'm That's good with that as long as it's not what you're implying. Wait, if, if all these runes basically made all the time slow, what did we destroy them? Maybe, mm. maybe that'll give them creepy folk less time to hurt the kids. I think they're already in here. I wonder how long, wait, sword. Um, do you know how long the kids? May have been in here since they've been in here. I guess that, if it's three days for us, uh, forgive me, I forgot the exact number of days. It was was it two days before? No, five days. No, two or three days before we went in after the kids. Um. Anyway, Lee says whatever that number is. <laughs> mm -hmm. That plus the three days we've been in here. I the, I don't the know. The sword replies kind of back in your mind says i have been with you yes but the children came in here before us so i don't know maybe it's i just hope it hasn't been too long for them well, let's go get them yeah yeah lee seems tired when she talks emotionally more so than physically uh, do we see tiny children baby feet? Uh, you do not. So looking around, um, if you glance towards the, the direction of the pit, you see giant stones, um, clumps of earth entangled by roots, sections of wood, um, various curios such as a chandelier, a chest, um, a few statuettes of some naked elves, um, and these were all suspended in midair within the pit at varying heights. Um, included among these is um, known as Shu. <laughs> um, and, and these things make the depth of the pit very difficult to discern, at least from where you're standing. You can't really get a good, good view of like down into it. Um, and there, there is a very distinct lack of smell here. Aside from just a hint of ash. Can we hear anything? Copper smell? Like blood copper smell? Cool. Just ash. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's refreshing. The fortress mm -hmm. itself is made from enormous stones. Easily, each of them easily the size of a horse. Um, the stones seem to have melted or perhaps eroded in some extreme manner on the sections that are uh, either closer to the chasm or facing it. The fortress itself otherwise is bare, devoid of any rooms or furnishings. Um, any of those seem to have collapsed possibly into the pit below. So the pit's in the way and there's not a way around it, right? Um, there, it's kind of like the pit is in the middle and there, there is potentially a path around, yeah. Okay. I think I'm I brought this up, Lisa's. I have actually a map and I'm trying to, for the life of me, trying to figure out how I can give it to you guys. You could screenshot it. Put it up in the Discord. Sui scans the fortress and says, 
which path to the cliff? Also, Nancy, I didn't hear what you said, Lee said. Oh, uh, Lee just mentions, I think I've got some rope, kind of unsure because she's not sure if there's something we could tie it to kind of thing, but right. pointing out the rope. I mean, if anything, perhaps it could be a fail safe. How, how, how um, wide is a path? Is it like dangerous on the side of the chasm kind of thing? Cause we could also just tie around ourselves for safety. I like that idea. Ah, uh, here we go. Download. Okay. I'm going to try and put this in Discord. Assuming I even have Discord on my tablet. You could also send it to one of us and then we could repost it if that's easier. Like that is, or that is a great, that is a great idea. Uh, who wants to be in charge of this? Uh, I can. Other people <laughs> can. I am available if you send it to me. <laughs> uh, what's your email? Uh, Nancy with Y and then Lee, L-E-I-G-H at live.com. Uh... I can put it in the chat too. Yeah, me. type it in chat. <laughs> Since this is recorded and goes on the internet, I don't want to. <laughs> no worries. Uh, it hasn't been private before for freelance stuff, so it's fine. Okay. L E I G H? Yes. Okay. At. Sorry. No worries, live.com. Okay, I have shared something with you through Google Docs. Okay. Let me, let me know if you if you get it. I heard it. Open. I'll send it to Chrissy as well, just so we have redundancies. All right. And if, if one of you can post that into Discord so you guys have a frame of reference there. Yep, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Would that be better in game lore? Yes, put that in game lore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reposted. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy. Welcome. I, I just have this feeling that there's something really bad in that pit and there's something really good in that pit. So you guys side, have, right? you guys have arrived at the very south section where you see that path. Yeah. So if we yeah. go to the right or the left, we are going off the path, but there is no path to stay on. That is correct. Are but we if everything's floating in the pit, maybe we could just jump in and float across. Is it floating or like on the walls kind of thing? They are floating. Oh. oh. Is my shoe also floating? Yes. Um, I'm going to think really, really hard about the shoe coming over to me. That's a good idea. Um, Lean in her bag. Can you see, can we see anything in that alcove on the left? <laughs> 
uh, make an investigation check. Then he steps forward and tries to place a rock on the pit. Lee sees uh, Sudi doing that and it grabs her attention and looks to the rock that Sudi is trying to throw in the pit because that was what Lee was going to do. He's just like dropping it gently. Yeah, as as Lee and Sudi kind of go near the edge of the pit and kind of glance into the depths, um, I need both of you to make a sanity saving throw. Uh, Chrissy, what was your... I got an 11. And what does the rock do? Uh, roll your sanity saving throw first, please. Okay. Ooh, ow. Damage. Hopefully that helps. I got a nine. <laughs> I got a seven. I did not. <laughs> a nine and a seven? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the vastness of the great chasm is unnerving. You both take 15 stress damage and are paralyzed Oof. for 16 hours. Hours? What? 16 oh, hours. Human down. While oh. paralyzed this way, they stare trance like into the void. So they just stop moving and are staring like wide-eyed. Yes. During this time, both of you are in um, what is essentially a magical sleep for the duration. Even if you are immune to magical sleep effects. So but you are, you are paralyzed in whatever position you were so Sudi is like reaching out a rock and Lee is like watching her do that right there at the edge of the pit and so you, none of you know how long that they're going to be frozen um so Mavely kind of looks over and is like hey, Sudi just drop it <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Maybe. for for Nona, um, with your 11 on perception, uh, over on the southwest section, um, you are able to locate what appears to be a trap door set into the floor. Oh. Guys, there's a trap door over there. Natalie, what are you looking at? Yeah, but look, Sudi's just... Sudi! <laughs> Drop the rock. Drop the how you I, I am not good with patience. No, 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 no. Look at her. She's not even dropping the rock. At are what they, point can I get my own rock? Wait, are they both like looking down at the Yeah. They're kind of looking in a, a downward direction, kind of into the pit. Yes. Okay. Mavly is definitely staring at the rock. Drop the rock. Edie's gonna go up to them and try to, like, try to sort of tap them awake or, or slap them awake. Mm -hmm. Not hard enough to do any damage, but she'll just go up and kind of just, hey, what is, you two, wake up, come on. What, I, what in the nine hells are you looking at? I think it's the pit. No response whatsoever. They as you shake them they they appear to be completely catatonic all right i'm gonna try to go from behind i'm gonna try to go from behind uh, uh whoever's closest to me to see I'm if i can drag them kind of pull the, pull them away i'll help you with that who's the closest to me and nona that we can pull them away so Sudi's closer to the pit than Lee is. So probably Lee then. She's heavy. Especially with her Which gear. Why? We oh yeah, the two humans are frozen. Two people. 
of course she was like 165 or so kind of thing and then like got her pack on her and yeah and don't squish the mountain oh yeah no. oh yeah what does oh. wid do <laughs> did yeah. wid look down um i don't think so no i, I think wid inside the pack wid is fine yeah she's still hanging out on my backpack kind of thing maybe she's got a pocket she's nestled in nestled yeah i, I don't think wid really notices at least not yet. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, by the way, all of you get to level up to four. Right now? No. Oh. Right now. <gasps> How, what leveling system are you using? Um, what do you mean? Oh, well, I mean, we're all just, I guess it's milestone. Okay. Yeah, How do I level up? I've never used TD Beyond. Yeah. So what you do is you go into hang on let me pull it up here so you go into your character and you click um manage levels there there should be a, a tool that allows you to manage levels okay it's like a little gear manage character and levels uh-huh yeah so you click that and then just uh, change, change your level from three to four okay and it will open up any new class features you get. And I believe everybody gets a class feature at level four. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now I have to read the whole feats list to decide whether I want one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and we use uh, average hit points. So you won't be rolling. You don't need to roll anything. Everybody just gets average. Ooh, tough is not bad. Plus two at each level. Um, so can I roll to try and drag Lee away from the You you certainly can, yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, Edie is Careful. helping. I'm not strong enough. Do you want to use my rope? Maybe you can tug her back. I think we, if we're gonna tug her with a rope, we should lay her down first. Uh, otherwise, she's just gonna fall down. But. Um, Edie, on a scale of plus zero to plus five, how strong are you? <laughs> 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 on a scale of one to 20. <laughs> uh, got a strength of plus two. Okay, so uh, we're planning for saves. We just want to pick these kids up and move them? Never mind that we haven't even dropped the dang rock yet? I think that maybe if they're not next to the pit, they'll wake up. Cool. Navalie's going to go and, and pick up Lee and move her. All right. Can, can you, like, can I help? We're, we're going to need... Okay, so all three of us are going to. to try and move Lee. Okay, uh, so I'll have one of you make a athletics check at advantage. Okay. Um, I got a plus four to that in proficiency. Okay. Uh, I got to tell you that... Uh, uh, go ahead I, and do that uh, instead. You're well, little. You're really small. Are you sure you're... I mean, you're this big. You're very tiny, and you want to try I'm, to move the big. I'm, I just... I'm stronger than I look, and if, if y'all would like to, to help, I would definitely welcome it. But you're like this big, and I'm, I'm not a huge person. I mean, shouldn't Nona be moving? I'm just. It, I mean, you're maybe the two of us can Nona. do that, but I am stronger than I look, and I can help if, you, if Nona. If you need help to 
Yeah, yeah. I think we can all help each other. I think we can. You know, all I'm just gonna let let you know. I I have learned not to get in the way of tiny but mighty people. I'm just gonna go stand by, by Quinnahawk and let let Edie, you know, d- do magic. It'll be amazing things. I, you got this, Edie. Okay. Okay. And I think uh, it's really re- relevant, weird that there's like tiny people. Relevant question people. was was just asked, and I think everybody uh, should probably know this. Um, as far as ability score increase goes, if if you are choosing the ability score increase for level four, sanity is an ability that can be increased using an ASI. I was thinking about that, but if I increase it by one, nothing's gonna happen. But you get two. Oh, you That's get two. True. You do. I forgot. The light in here, Z. How is that? Um, the light has not changed. There, there's a very uh, reddish glow as opposed to the multicolor glow that you've had previously. Um, It's considered dim light, but there is light. Okay. Mavely's going to go just literally sit next to Quinn and kind of put her head between her legs. Like shifting light, weird tiny humans doing things. She's not feeling so hot anyway. So you guys, uh, what what did you roll to drag Lee away? Maya, do you want to roll an advantage? Sure. E. Uh, thankfully, that's advantage. <laughs> okay, the higher one's a 10. The higher one's a 10. I rolled a natural one on the first roll. I, I'm <laughs> where I'm cursed. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. Great. Yeah, ten, 10 is really all you needed. Okay. So uh, as the two of you are are moving Lee away from uh, this pit, um, who's who's still not looking? Quinn? Quinn, make a, Quinn and Madly, make a perception check. Buh, 10. Okay. 12. 12. Okay. Um, as, as Nona and um, Edie are moving Lee, very um, kind of like in your periphery, as you're kind of dragging Lee away from the pit, she's still completely um, unmoving uh, her eyes wide open, seemingly staring into the void. Um, you notice that Edie kind of, her, her, her figure is like her muscles are locked in, in position as she was, as she was about to drop this rock in. But her figure kind of lurches forward a little bit, like her hind, her, her leg that was back kind of comes off the ground and she leans forward just a little bit and then kind of rocks back oh did i see yes you saw the string the string nona do you want the rope now why what's wrong she she's teetering i don't want her to fall in i don't want you to fall in is she falling Edie, come on, get 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 on this side. And as you're talking, once again, you see Sudi's form kind of lurch forward a little bit, like tilt forward as if she's about to fall in, but she doesn't quite pass that tipping point, but it's getting close and she tips back just a little bit. I'm gonna run and see how I can help get uh, Sudi out of that situation. Nona, what do you need? 
But how how are we trying to get Sudi out of this? She's the same. She... Are we on Sudi now? I'm still pulling. Did we f successfully pull Lee out of the way? Yes. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah. My bad we... too. I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> I thought you. Okay, never mind. Y'all named your characters Edie and Sudi, and I swear. <laughs> I swear. You can call Lako Sudi if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab well, right her. Right now, Maku Sudi is about to fall down. <laughs> yep, we're gonna grab her and we're gonna pull her back. Yeah. Okay. All, all you, you run back. over and grab the teetering Sudi and pull her back away from the edge of the pit. Yes. Okay. okay. So now we're going to lay them both down next to each other on the path from whence we came. All right. And see what's going on. So, so do we recognize this as being paralyzed? I mean, magically, they, they certainly appear to be paralyzed. So when they're, they're brought over, the, are, yeah, are their muscles like locked in place or can we guide them to sit down? Um, I think with, with some effort, you could probably reposition their bodies. Yeah, yeah, I, I would allow that. Trying to see if Leon hands can affect paralyzation, but I don't think it can. Nope, just poison and disease. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, shit, Z. What are we supposed to do now? The fuck. You tell don't me. Know how long they're going to? Yeah, you don't know how long they're going to be paralyzed for. So, what we see on the ground and not in the pit are there, um, like platforms or pieces of wood that are large enough to lay them on and move them around on. On the platform. Not, not in the pit. Just on the sides of it. Uh, yeah, so so looking around, not in the pit, there's really not much stuff. Pretty much anything of any substance seems to have been pulled into the area of the pit. And you can kind of see it floating mm -hmm. in there. There's, there's a wagon in the pit. I can um, tie my rope to an arrow and try and see if we can pull it back. Okay, well, be careful. I, I don't think you should look directly at the pit. Should I look at the wagon? I can look. I don't up. know the rules of this land. Ah, uh, I can't know either. Will, will, are they will, blinking at all? See, they are. They are not blinking at all. No, they are completely motionless. Guys, in a couple that's hours. ridiculously creepy. Yeah, they remind me of that doll you found. Do you think their eyes are like actually drying out? We should close we, them. Yeah. Maybe just close one and see the other, see if something happens. Uh, I think closing both is fine. Um, will will the will the arrow pierce the wagon? Quinn? Uh, I, I mean, I think that's what arrows do. So I'm, I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know what the arrow's made. I don't know what the arrow's made of. I don't know what the wagon's made of. Is um, it a an arrow would probably lodge itself into the wood. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It wouldn't pierce it, but it, it would definitely stick into it. We I... can try that, or I can try and, um, Undo the trap, and we can see what's over there. Or 
you know, the wagon might be helpful for bringing the kids out too. I think the wagon would be a good thing. Can you, can you like side eye the wagon? <laughs> <laughs> Do we, oh, I have a mirror. I wonder if indirect, if it's like Medusa, right? I have a mirror. Ooh, right. two mirrors. Yeah, or like the serpent. Let's... Yeah. Reminder that Lee said you something about the clever. backpack too, if you guys. Uh, oh, know. some rope in the backpack. Yes, I remember. Also, um, we successfully made sure that Wid wasn't under Lee when we laid her down. Just saying. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, but we're like looking at the wagon now, right? And we're okay. Right? Uh, yeah. how, how close are you going to look? I mean, well, I stay. Are you, are you looking like across or are you looking kind of down? I'm. So it's tricky because the, the map we have is directly like, down. Right. Into it's, it, yeah, it's two dimensional. Like coming so into all, it, I would just all be of looking. The, yeah, all of the stuff that's floating is like at different levels. Um, I, I'll make a roll and decide whether the, yeah, so the wagon is kind of above you. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, get the wagon. You're, that's a great idea, Quinn. Okay, so I will get my rope around an arrow and try and shoot the wagon. Okay. Yeah. Make a uh, make a normal attack roll. I'm gonna use my baby dice. New dice, new dice. Mm -hmm. Same bad rolls. I got oh, an eight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so an, an eight, unfortunately, will not hit the wagon. So you, what? So what happens is you fire your arrow, and instead of instead of going and hitting the wagon as as your your arrow kind of passes the precipice it it seems to like slow down and then like speed up and it like changes direction and it it's very highly erratic and because of the nature of this it it misses the uh wagon completely but your arrow does not come go out on the other side of the pit um, rather, it, it kind of stops at some point and becomes motionless, floating. That was exceptionally educational. Hmm? I can pull it back. Would you like to? Maybe, maybe I put the shield in front of you while you do that. Just in case it comes whizzing back at us. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna try to pull your arrow back? Uh huh. Okay, I would like you to make a strength athletics check. If it seems difficult, I can instead try and help you pull it back. Does it seem difficult? It does. It does. Can you help me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll do like a tug of, tug of war sort of stance. Okay, so make that roll at advantage. And that's a two. So I got 15. 15? Yeah, so your, your arrow seems to be somehow held in place as the two of you are pulling on the rope. Um, you can't seem to overcome whatever force seems to be holding it in place. How far above us is it held in place? Um, I'll say about 15 feet above you. All right. Well, now, technically, kind of, we have a way across. <laughs> we can swing across. <laughs> Although I can't tell you 
how good of an idea that is. Uh, it's just a rope. Yep, rope attached to an arrow. That's just pull six. harder. Do you want to help? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Want you to try? try. I am not very strong. Edie, is right, it your I'll time to shine? I will give it a shot. Um, I don't know if there's anything that's some, some magical heebie jeebie that's keeping it there, but I could certainly try. It. As far as I'm concerned, you are a magical heebie jeebie. Because uh, you're this big and have pulled people uh, unexpectedly. So you go, girl. All right. I will try to uh, try to pull the arrow back. Okay. Um, strength athletics. And can I help again? Sure. At advantage. Perfect. That is a 24. Woo! Oh no, we're down to die. Okay. Um, with, with a 24, um, as you as you are pulling on the rope, um, you take a few steps back and there seems to be some movement of the arrow. Uh, I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw, both of you. Yeah, that makes sense. See, we just needed the little one to do it. See, do you see? That's fantastic. Everything in this whole entire place is upside down and backwards. Oh, oh, that's, okay. 18. That's okay. seven. No. Okay. <laughs> as, as you're pulling back on the rope, um, eventually you do overcome whatever force had been holding this arrow in place. And as you step back, as it releases, um, your foot like catches on something and you tumble backwards, falling down. Um, and Nona manages to avoid whatever obstacle was there. But when you look to see what you tripped over, there doesn't actually appear to be anything there. Mavly definitely giggles. Oh, <laughs> you're crap. Did I get the arrow back at least? Um, so when you released, when, when the uh, tension, whatever was holding the arrow, um, it kind of starts moving towards you. And as you release tension on the arrow, when you trip, the arrow then stops in the position that it is now in again. Okay, but I didn't fall. Right, but you did release tension uh, as I she tried fell. not to. Yeah, I think just the nature of one of you falling, considering she was doing most of the pulling, uh, would result in a, a release. Have the of same it. modifier. Thank <laughs> you very much. And rolling with advantage is to be instead of two people rolling, which would be the same thing uh, of two people doing equal work. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, it's just with, with the fact that, that Edie tripped and lost her balance, there was a, a slackening of the rope and it gave the arrow enough time to re-stabilize in that area. Lady's pissed. Edie's going to get up, dust herself off, just grumble under her breath. Uh, some very colorful Southern sayings that I not have looked at and I do not have memorized. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and uh, she got some mouth. <laughs> and uh, we'll try to pull this thing again. Quinn, do you have like magical arrows? No, just regular ones. Because this one seems to be super special. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's way stronger than I am. 
Um, maybe we can leave it there. Maybe I don't need that arrow or that rope. Um, I, I really don't want anybody falling into the pit because of one arrow. Well, we fell backwards away from the pit, right? Yeah. So it should be okay. But I as luck would have it, what if you trip forward next time? I don't think that's how the laws of momentum work. That's not how arrows work either, but I mean, here we are. That's there fair. are no rules. That's fair. All right, okay, I can't time. take it anymore. I'm closing Sudi's eyes. So creepy. I told you to close them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, how? <laughs> like five minutes. I just wanted to see yeah. how long before she would. Put... Why are you mad? You didn't I'm do not it. Mad. I'm her not eyes mad. have like completely dried out. <laughs> <laughs> I was Good probably Lord. used to it. She's from the desert. I thought that maybe they don't blink. I don't know. <laughs> definitely uh, blink. Maya, if you want to continue pulling on that, you're, you're welcome to Absolutely. take another roll. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's another athletics check. Uh huh. 17? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, what, unless what you it? wanted to help out with that. At no, all. no, no. No, this time I'm going to hold the shield in front of you. <laughs> Okay. That's yeah. Fair. So with, with the 17, uh, once again, you, you release, you manage to break whatever tension uh, seems to be holding it in place. And the arrow, the momentum of the arrow, it begins to like swerve around changing elevation and direction. And then eventually passes that precipice of the pit and then falls to the ground in front of you. I'd like to look at the arrow see if it's changed at all okay uh you inspect the arrow queen what does the arrow look like um regular <laughs> i mean you tell me did it change while it was in there no it's just an arrow okay with the rope tied around it um should i try again do we want to try sure? again <laughs> Like, I have that a... seems so not regular. Does Nona's shoe still look regular? Maybe uh, Nona could throw her other shoe. Also, is it really rocky? Do we need to figure shoe... out? It is rocky, yeah. There's there's debris. Um, is my shoe like at eye level? Uh not really. It's a little bit, it's a little bit down. Would you like to get a better view of your shoe? No. <laughs> I love you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe if we try that shield trick, I don't know. You'll probably get your shoe back if we're not looking at it directly. You mean shoot at my shoe? I mean, if there's, if anyone's got some weird magic whatevers to pull it out of there. I I don't have that. Have we? Hmm. You have, Quinn, do you guys have any weird magic to pull things out of things? Just I am not a medical magic. creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're looking at two totally normal people over here. We are, uh. Nope. Wid, Wid changes back into her her regular dwarven self. She's kind of curled up into a ball and she starts muttering incoherently to herself and then changes into a common house cat. Well, that is some shit you don't see every day. <laughs> yeah, no, usually. Especially with your eyes shut. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry that took so long. <laughs> Just gonna lean over, make sure Lee's is also closed. Definitely did not do that. All right, yeah, Lee's close arms ours. are still open. Gonna close those. <laughs> um. I was gonna ask Wid if maybe 
her berries could help, but she's a cat now. <laughs> did, it, did, did we give anyone an extra berry? She gave everyone a berry. Well, yeah, but oh, I guess nobody said they were going to eat it. Really, <laughs> did they? Um, Lee ate Kitty's hers. Is in her pouch. Lee ate hers. But there's still extra know. berries too, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. No, but... There, there were th- three extra berries. But how is she going to go for the most hurt people? If I gave if... mine to whoever wanted it, but I don't. I didn't ask. What do you say, Jamie? I I think that that uh, the the extras. Did we decide where those actually went? Because well, Wid does not, in that form, have. Uh, uh, if if somebody wishes to have the additional berries, um, you can have the additional berries. I just have pockets. I one is great. I think it would make sense if it was like in Lee's bag. Sure. With Wid. Works um, just so you all know, I'm only looking in here for the berries. Sure. Definitely true. Only looking for the berries. Is there anything neat in there? Nothing I haven't already seen. She got she's got cool carving stuff. But that's her Shut stuff. the front door. Um, Nona, she can't do anything about it right now. Mavly, you don't have anywhere to put it. They have pockets. There's not even any berries in them. Okay, just one. Look, we don't don't even know her that well. Okay, you take a berry out. Your your Um, paladins are so annoying. And this paladin loves you very much. Um, and, uh, do either of them look injured still at all? They're the same amount of injured that they were previously. Right. But I'm asking, uh, Nancy and Abby Uh, if either of them look injured at all. Nope. Oh, you're you're uh, muted, Nancy. Sorry, I forgot it. that was still on. Um, I look injured, but not um, not uh, like bloody. Bloody. Well, actually, I have a question for you, um, Z. With leveling up, um, it didn't give me any hit points with the next HP that I gained. Would I at least have? the additional HP that I gained added on to what was hit before. Yeah. So you gained 10, right? Um, I think I gained nine. Nine. Yeah. So okay. that, that new HP, you, you were previously at 25, right? 25 uh, out of yes. uh, 31. Yes. I think I was 31. Does it have a history that it tells you what your, what it was before? Mm, no. Yes. Yeah, so when, when you level up, however many HP that you gain when you level up, you basically automatically heal that amount. So if you gained 9 HP, you would heal 9 HP. Okay. I look a little scratched up. Uh, I'm going to figure okay. out how to scratched up soon, but nothing, nothing more than that. Probably. All right, so I'm going to give you the berry to see if that does anything. Well, I mean, so you're laying on the ground. Can she swallow? <laughs> open don't, the book. Don't open the so, mouth. So you, so you put this berry. Put it on her teeth. You wedge open her mouth, mm-hmm. and you kind of shove okay. this berry in. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you do this, like you're like a dog. Oh, and you're gonna massage it down her throat. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Oh boy. I hope I'm alive. <laughs> No, no, we could have just smooshed it up and mixed it with some water. That might have been a little easier, but here we okay. Uh oh, wow. No wonder your kids have such stalwart, you know, constitutions. You don't mess around. Okay. Uh, um I'm I'm going to say that I I would like Nona to make a medicine check. 
okay. at disadvantage to avoid causing her to choke. <laughs> And and therefore suffocate on this berry. Okay. Um, I got a fifteen on the die. Okay. Plus two. And that's a disadvantage. Yes, I got a fifteen and a sixteen. Okay. Um, uh, I will I will say that a fifteen is um, plus two. So, yeah. so a 15 would, would have been your DC. Okay. Um, so a 17, you you somehow managed to massage this berry down her throat without suffocating her. I've done it to my dog a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be done. It can definitely be done. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> wow, you could have just killed Lee. <laughs> <Just Yeah. now. laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help. <laughs> We're under a lot of stress. <laughs> How much do the uh, berries heal again? One. One. Okay. Um, do they do anything for paralyzation? Nope. <laughs> they, they do not. Mavley's uh, definitely like, blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions, and dear Elmater, please do not let our beloved Nona Ellie kill our friend. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to have done anything. She looks maybe a little bit less scratched up though are you kidding she looks amazing it's almost like she's she's gained an extra level of power or something <laughs> <laughs> well do do we want to um okay so Edie is small Nona, you and I can grab like her arms and her legs and fling her into the wagon. And then with the momentum that Edie has, she'll land in the wagon, coast it to the other side, and then she can drive the wagon back around. And then we can put Sudi and Lee into the wagon and go check out the trap door. I think this is totally viable. Are you am ready, I Edie? Am enough to hear this? I am not being quiet about it. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think so, yeah. The moment you mentioned throwing Edie down to that uh, to the wagon, she just absolutely glares at you. And how okay. how come we don't? I'm stronger than you. How come I don't throw you? How do Why you know you're stronger you than me? To get, that, to get that wagon. Why do you? Okay, I don't think there? we should be throwing anybody. Well, I mean, we could throw Quinn, but she's already shot her arrows. So, you know, I don't think that that's necessary. Nona, are you up for being thrown? I mean, Edie and I could chuck Nona. She's like got that that arrow straight. She's obviously lucky because she just shoved a whole berry down a person's throat who can't even swallow. <laughs> I am fairly aerodynamic. <laughs> she's got that armor. It's like she could cut through the air. Maybe if you put your sword in front of you when we throw you, like, and we'll throw you like face first. No, this isn't working. Okay, well, how are we going to carry these people then? Because it's not like we can make them go piggyback at this point. Quinn, do you want to try the arrow thing again? You bet. Okay, okay. Y'all are going to get real mad. But, and before she even finishes her sentence, Mavely's going to whip around and smack the crap out of Sudi. <laughs> Mally, does Did anything it change? Did it work? Um, roll actually unarmed. Yeah, very much so, because okay, I don't okay. have a weapon. Yeah, so uh, it, that's one plus your strength modifier damage. So three. Three points of damage, Sudi. Um, yeah, where are you hitting her? On her face. All right. Yeah, so uh, Mavly swings on Sudi, punching her in the face. 
Well, it's an open face slap, open slap, open, open but it's, slap. Oh, but it's oh, really open hard. Slap. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there, there is definitely some redness uh, where the slap is, and you see a little trickle of blood come out of Sudi's nose. No change, though. Nope, no change. Well, that was not nearly as effective as I'd hoped. And considering this idea didn't work, throwing Edie or Nona probably wouldn't work either. And this is probably safer to test. At <laughs> least I didn't try to choke her with the berry. <laughs> it's safe until she snaps out of it. And that's who did that. Um, not does being me. paralyzed count as a long rest? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be great i think it should i, I really do yeah i could it, write it, it you maybe a, should it maybe should but it does five not. page essay <laughs> on why it should yeah five page essay on why paralyzed should count as a long rest yeah if i do that would you let that happen sure <laughs> <laughs> okay so closing their eyes didn't work yep goodberry didn't work nope moving them away from the edge didn't work Mm hmm slapping and damage didn't work correct uh, i mean do you know anything about because i'm all right you know what healing and paralyzing is really more along the lines of holy people work so why don't you you know maybe is paralyzing really along the lines of holy people work because i know do i know you know what all right can I've I met see a lot of I religious know? people. They're kind of fucked up. That's fair. That's valid. You know what? You're right. Um, can I roll like Arcana or something to know to see if I know anything about magical paralyzation? Um, sure. Come on, Nona. I do not. You do not. I rolled a two. <laughs> oh yeah, you're like I don't think magic can cause this. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like like real like demon stuff you know <laughs> um, since you are protected against that sort of thing why don't you look down and see what you need to do to break it am I protected I feel you're like, like a paladin-y type you look you you're wearing all of the you are the holiest person I know besides the dead one that we <laughs> left back there <laughs> single tear yeah oh i didn't mean to make you sad but you know maybe if you invoke the uh the the sister and if you invoke your deity you'll like be totally okay when you look down in uh and if something bad happens i will close your eyes right away <laughs> i you know what madly thank you i really actually do very much appreciate that um but I'd prefer it if for it to not come to that. Uh, we also I really mean, need to get your shoe. No. Yeah. I don't think so. At this point, you could step on a rock and be like out of the fight. I'd rather not try and get his steal shoe. Steal Leo's studies. I'm not going to steal someone else's shoe. <laughs> um. You know, I feel like having only one shoe is a character trait, and um, don't you have armor though? Like, wasn't it like a an piece of armor? An armor you? shoe? I don't know. Was it just what is? What do I have? I have I have chainmail. I don't think you wear chainmail on your feet. Z? Are there any um? I'm wondering, oh, are yeah, there you, any, like, leaves you absolutely or, or wood or something you can fashion shoes out of? A clog? So full full mail mm -hmm. um, includes male gloves and um, kind of coverings over your feet. I don't think she would have thrown the covering. So yeah, she you just said your has shoe. the covering. You said your shoe, yeah. so yeah. probably not the covering. Yeah. yeah, so so she, yeah. You could so just Babley's actually going to bend down and like kind of try to tie the covering up so you're not actually stepping on chain mail in addition to everything Why else. Why not while get you're some walking. extra thick Aww. socks from Wig? Yeah, there's and like, just lay it on socks. So there's like leather straps that go under your feet. The, the mail doesn't actually go under your feet. 
Oh, okay. It just like lays on top of your foot. But without a shoe, wouldn't it dangle down and get like under her feet? It, it might, yeah. I'm fine. It's fine, Mavly. It's okay. You don't have to. Quinn Mavly has... looks up at, at Nona and goes, Stop, like, ma. What, too soon? I don't know too what soon? To, I don't know what to do with you when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it does not make me feel safe. Yeah, me either, but we're standing next to a pit that apparently paralyzes people. And I don't know where to go. And your shoe is missing. <laughs> um, I could be missing a lot worse than a shoe. Sudi and Lee, um, while you're in this trance and you're staring, as you stare into the void, you're like overwhelmed by the absolute vastness of looking into this void. And you feel parts of you being pulled away. So um, mechanically, both of you um, are going to lose some additional um, memories. Oh, geez. Okay. I might think on that a little bit. Let me know if I need to say it soon for story stuff. Nope, you, you don't need to say it out loud um maybe like put it in uh discord or something so we know what memories those are <laughs> sorry so i'll check you will do <laughs> quinn how's that uh that arrow to the wagon going ready to shoot it go for it let's get down to business and a 15. 15. As you, you fire your arrow and it you hear a, a hollow thunk as you see the tip of your arrow and part of the shaft lodge itself into the wood of the wagon. It hit, it oh, hit. No. Edie, I need your help. Can you help pull it back? Good job, Quinn. I think we could. We can. I'm coming. And it's all tug of war, it, baby. Yeah. Is that um, room? How many of us are pulling on this arrow? Four? All of us? All right. Um, are we all rolling uh, athletics or just one person with advantage? I mean, um, if we I'll all... say since four of you are pulling, I'll say two of you can roll at advantage. Ooh. Not me. Um, uh, I can do it this time. I can do one of the people. Um, I'll do the other one then. Okay. I got a 20! Plus two. So 22. Okay. I'm sad that I rolled a 20 and an 18. It's a waste of a good roll. And I got uh 15. That helps. Okay, 15 and 20. Okay, so all four of you are holding on to this rope, right? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume that you attach the rope to the front of the arrow. So it's like lodged in the wood and not the back of the arrow. So you're just like snapping it. Right. Okay. So as you're pulling, and that, that's a pretty good roll, a 20 and a 15. A 22. A 22 and a 15, excuse me. Um, so I think what happens is, is as you're pulling, you, you start to dislodge the wagon from whatever sort of kind of stasis is holding it in place. Um, and when you do this, it immediately starts to fall down. And so what happens is as it falls down, it's pulling the rope taut. And so the weight of the wagon is now pulling the four of you towards the pit. As the wagon, the weight of the wagon is pulling you down into the pit. So I need the four of you to make um, dexterity saving throws to be able to let go of the rope in time before you get pulled into the pit. 
But but twenty two is strength. It, as you release it, immediately it starts falling. Why can't we just it. muscle it back up? Because it's way heavier than the four of you. Is this? Um, it looks like a child's wagon. No, it's it's pretty big. This is against magic, so I have advantage. Uh, it's not magic. No. Okay. Yeah. Wait, how big is the wagon? It's it's a regular size like horse drawn wagon. I get a sixteen. I thought this was a children's wagon. Oh no, no no. <laughs> No, no, that's a full size horse drawn wagon. Oh, oh, I was imagining like the type you'd have in your. Yeah, like a little red wagon. Like, no, no, I like, definitely I thought like... it was a person wagon because I mentioned putting people in the wagon. Yeah, like. I just I imagined their feet would be anybody. dangling over. Exactly. No, it, it, it is big enough to put multiple people in the wagon. It's like the kind of wagon that you buy when you're going on a journey and you put two horses on the front of it. That It's that kind of wagon. I got a 23. Okay. 16. Um, so we got a 23, a 15, a 5. And a 15. And a 15. Okay. So as the wagon starts to fall, all four of you kind of get lurched forward a little bit as the rope starts speeding down into the cavern and it kind of burns your hands a little bit and then you kind of release it and you notice that um Edie hasn't quite let go of it in time and she is falling towards the hole um so I would like real quick I would like the four of you to make initiative to roll mm -hmm. initiative to see if you have time to react before Edie is pulled into the hole. Uh, Edie, you, you roll as well. I got a 15. I also got a 15. Okay. Eight. Okay. I got a three. Okay. So, Nona, you have a chance here to save Edie. Okay. Can I use, I know that this isn't the, the normal use, but can I use my helm of the martyr to like make sure I'm in the right place at the right time to just grab her? Because it, it's a mad, it, 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 I use my reaction to magically teleport. Right, to take, to take damage instead of her, you're basically putting yourself in the place of an incoming strike. Right, so if I'm putting myself in front of the pit so that I grab her instead. Okay, if, 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 if that's I'll, not... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I, I will allow you to essentially um, replace yourself with Edie. And so then, and then I will let you make a deck save to see if you can stop your fall. I don't think that's a good idea because I have a minus one to dex. <laughs> um, if, if I can't use the Helm of the Martyr then for that, then... Um, but what a Palladian thing to do. It is a Palladian thing. <laughs> Pallady. I'm a Pallady. Um, she would, if she survives that, she's going to be hating herself if anything happens to, to Nona. Yeah, um, I can I just I'll I'll just do the normal try and grab her then. Okay, so you're gonna try and grab Edie as mm -hmm. she's being pulled into the hole. Yeah. 
Okay. So I think. Can it be athletics? I think how we'll do this. Hand? Yeah. I'm going to say you make your um, strength athletics checks. And I think I'm going to have Maya um, roll um, dex acrobatics. And this, this isn't you resisting. This is just going to assign the DC to how kind of how erratically you're moving to try to, you know, stop yourself from being pulled in. Yeah, like if I can grab Nota's uh, hand in time. Right. So you're, you want to roll low. And Nona well, wants at, to at roll. At the rate I've been going, at the rate I've been going in the past few games, that should not be a problem. <laughs> okay. Don't cool. jinx it. All right. All right, I'm rolling. Is it athletics? Like the I skill? jinxed it. I'm sorry. What did you roll? Oh, <laughs> plus one. You rolled a what? Nat I twenty. A nat. Can I use my inspiration to try to roll it low? Yeah. Again. Oh my god. <laughs> can I try to use my inspiration to roll again and try to roll lower? Yes. <laughs> yes you can. Get rid of a twenty. Swear to God, if you roll another nat twenty. <laughs> another nat 20 a natural low 20 why why you know sometimes right. sometimes right. the dice just want to fuck you up all right here's here's well here's... all right uh i rolled an 18 plus 2, which is a 20. An 18 plus 2 is a 20. Um, unfortunately, Edie rolled a 21. Let go! Um, and so, as Nona lunges toward... Edie as she's being pulled into the hole as she's as she's being pulled off her feet from this uh, cart being dragged down into the pit you barely miss her leg as she topples over the edge and falls into the pit falling to her death I don't Wait. think that was supposed to happen that way, Nona. Did you just Wait, push she... her over? Nona? Did you just push Edie? No. That really looked like you pushed Edie. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, that's... If you just would have stayed out of the way, Edie would have been fine. Mavly, not the right time. Didn't you see it? How come she didn't get suspended in the air like everything else? Probably because Nona pushed her. I'm going to go look over and see what I can see, if I can see Edie down there. Madly, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, Madly, um, I need you to make a sanity saving throw. That'd be a seven. <laughs> okay. As, as you look over to catch sight of Edie, you feel this sense of absolute immenseness come over you. The vastness of the void just overpowers your cognition. And um, you also... Uh, now suffer the same effect as Sudi and Lee and are paralyzed as you feel your memories being pulled from your mind. Yeah, but did um, I see Edie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you did. Uh, Maya, 
unfortunately, Edie is dead. However, I would love for you to stick around. I have some awesome NPCs that you could play. You I, get to be the, you can be the bad guy. I thought that she got her own turn. She got her own what? Turn. She was falling. The, the initiative was to see if you could react in time, is basically what that was. If I rolled the same initiative as Nona, though, would there be any chance for me to, like, grab on to anything at all to try to stop my fall? You know what? I'll be nice and say... Make a sanity saving throw for me. If you pass this check, I will give you a chance to grab onto the ledge. Thank you, kind and merciful DM. DC 15. I hate this. That's a natural one. My God. I use inspiration. I used yes. my inspiration to try to roll low last time you, and got the nat 20. Sudi, Sudi is giving you her inspiration. May, may I roll again, please? Yes. Yeah. You, thank you, using Sudi's inspiration. Yeah. Can I use my inspiration if this one fails, even though I'm very lost? That's a 13 total. Can I, can, can I give inspiration? Double inspiration? <laughs> I have that inspiration. And it's still Throw all the dice at it. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. You, can, you can give her your inspiration, too. Let's let's see how many tries this takes if I if I manage to get myself out of here. We'll just use up all the inspiration. It's a 13. Oh no. Why? <laughs> Sometimes the dice just are not on your side. I, I swear to God, this is a long running curse in every single game I play. It doesn't matter what system. It doesn't matter what setting. I have terrible luck with dice. I am so sorry, everyone. Oh, that, that's all right. That's all right. I, I will I will send you your new character sheet here in Thank a bit. You. Thank you very much. Should I stick around and observe what's going oh, yeah. on? As oh, yeah, absolutely. Like absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would overrule the DM at that point. No. If Maya goes, we're all out. <laughs> Her ghost is watching us. I love you all. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So now we have Mavly, Sudi, and Lee, all three paralyzed. And Quinn and Nona just watched Maya fall over the edge into the void. At least they have a cat with them. Would Do you think Edie would scream as she fell? Absolutely screaming bloody murder. So you can hear her scream for several minutes as she falls it an indescribable distance seemingly into this void. So Nona, Ellie, she, she like went to the edge. She, she reached all the way into the pit, her eyes tightly shut. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's relying fully on her blind sight, okay. um, which also makes her hearing flavored better. Okay. So this screaming is just echoing into her ears. Yeah, I, I think I think both Nona and Quinn need to make a sanity check right now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I got a 16. Okay, I think that's a pass. What did Quinn get? I get a nat 20. A nat 20. Okay, that's a pass. Uh, 
um, just like, I think I need to actually fail this sanity check. You can choose to fail any roll. I'm going to choose to fail this one. Okay, so you take so you take ten sanity damage. Yeah. Um, because one of her fears is falling. Remember? Right. Right. Um. Not heights, but falling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. So she's kind of just frozen and it'll only, she, she's frozen and then the only thing that can keep her from like two things, two things will break her out. One is if her shoe bumps her hand and the other is if um, the uh, the the rock begins to crumble. I'm gonna let you decide which one that would ha- that would happen first. Um, you you can choose. Can I choose the the shoe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so she's. She's just so shocked that she can't form words. And she she feels something on her hand and and she grabs it because maybe it's Evie. Uh, she just slowly crawls backwards um, away from the pit with her eyes still shut. She knows it's not Evie, but maybe it is, and maybe her blind side is lying to her, and if she opens her eyes, what she has in her hand isn't the shape of a shoe, but it's her friend. And once she's clear of the pit, she opens her eyes, and it's the most upset she's ever been to see a shoe. And and right there she has become her eight-year-old self. Uh, and the tears don't stop. And she's going to mourn the loss of her friend until someone else comes and sees her. I just have to say that um, we've got to fuck my nat 20 because that was a lot. And I think that Quinn needs to also fail that. Um, Okay. And sorry, Juliana's kind of actually freaking out over here. seeing Edie and then Mavly and everything and she finally hit her breaking point. So so yeah, Um, Quinn doesn't see anything Nona is doing because she's just all in her head and totally freaking out. All right. About how long do you think before the two of you kind of come to? I'm going to say like four minutes for me and I come out and start just screaming about Edie and Mavly.
Is Mavely in danger of falling into the pit? Potentially. Her sorry. eyes open. Yeah, her eyes are definitely open. Um, I, I don't think she's in imminent danger. Okay. Yeah. I swore I had a file here that I can't seem to find. So after After six hours, I, I don't know how long the two of you are going to hang out. Um, but if you want to do something before six hours pass, let me know. I want to try trip the trap. I mean, I want to try and use my tools to untrap it. The, un, I'm sorry, untrap what? There is a trap. There's, there's a trap, there's door. A trap door. Oh. So it's like it a, door, a, a door that lifts up in the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to bring Madly from the edge. Okay. Um. Sure. I'm gonna. Nona kind of grabs her from the back, and in mm -hmm. her mind, she's like. This is the closest I can get to a genuine hug from Mavly. I'm gonna pretend she's hugging me back. And then she pulls him <laughs> and lays her next to the other two, closes her eyes. Um, she can still hear Evie screams. Okay. Um, Queen, as you as you go over towards where the trap door is, um, how, how do you want to go about this? De describe to me what, what Quinn does. Um, are you like opening the door? Are you checking around it? So I just want to, yeah, check around it, investigate, see if, see if I can see anything. Sure. Um, okay, go ahead and make me an investigation check. Okay, with a with a ten, um, you you very clearly see where the trapdoor is. You see the edges. You see that there there's like a hinge and one of those rings, you know, to like lift it up. Um, there does not appear to be any sort of lock on it. It's just one of those you grab the ring and lift up. Does the earth around it or whatever is around it look unsettled like it's been opened recently it is um stone uh and it's it's hard to say because there's not a lot of dust in this area there there is some debris um but with with a 10 i don't think you would notice it Okay, um, I'm not gonna explore it on my own. And with Nona by Mavly, then I will um, sit in between Sudi and Lee and just sit and sing songs and juggle my ball bearings and... Okay, for uh, an undisclosed amount of time until basically until Nona comes over. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Where's Wid? Where where do you think Wid would be? I think I think Wid is kind of having a panic attack right now. <sighs> yeah. So did think, she like run? I off? think Wid also failed said sanity check, and she was already um, just beyond the precipice of that tipping point. Um, and this just she was already over the edge, and this pushed her even further. Um, I would say Wid is fairly um, inconsolable at this point. And in the form of a cat. What does an inconsolable cat look like for those who have cats? I don't have a cat. <laughs> I know my cat, when she's inconsolable, she's just really fucking loud. But it's usually about how she doesn't have, she has like a bald spot in her food dish. So, yeah. Probably so, very uh, still and kind of squished back against like a rock or a door so she's got something up against her back with her hackles up there you go um how long has it been since our long rest um, it's been most of the day, I think. Or at least a, a, a good portion of it. So I think you put in a good, like, six hours of travel today. Hmm. Well... Ellie's going to take to make sure she's drinking water because she knows that if she doesn't drink water, she's going to have a cry hangover. And um, go over to Quinn and offer her some of her water wordlessly. Just kind of Thank you. I'm I'm okay. Um, we um we're inside the last gate, which means we can't rely on the gates to. slow the children down anymore which means the longer we wait the more likely they're going to be dead do you mean that we move forward now I don't know it's an idea I don't know how to wake them up I don't know how long we should just wait. I'd like to just go to sleep, but I don't know if we have that luxury. I can't carry anybody. Um, I don't know if Wid can be a bear or something large and carry people so we can move forward. And mm -hmm. as Quinn is talking, she's just like gathering these things. It looks like there are piles of stuff around just gathering and she takes some, some leaves and twigs and other things out of her pouch and she makes sort of like a little I'll put some memory of rocks and stuff. Yeah. 
Podcast. We don't have Sudi to make strange markings on our legs. Um, I don't know. Do we? Did Did you look at the door? Uh, I just only looked at it. I I didn't try to open it, but it doesn't look like it's locked. Or should I open it? Or I guess um, actually let me let me see if I can't um, sense if there's any dangerous creatures nearby first just just in case um, she's going to use her second to find sense. So uh, Nona does her little prayer to Millimeter mm -hmm. and opens her mind, expecting so this something this detects awful. celestials, fiends, undead, and what else? Celestials, fiends, and undead within 60 feet. Um, celestials, fiends, and undead. You also, you can sense anything affected by the hallow spell. And I know the location of those people within, of those creatures within 60 feet. And okay. also, historically, the silent one. Right. That, that's because the silent one is a fiend. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Um, you do not detect any of those things within 60 feet. Okay. Can you not send files anymore through Messenger? Facebook Messenger? Yeah. I think you can, unless I took it out recently. I have I can't to and I use it. I can't. I will test this. I'm, I'm trying to send something to Maya, and it's not working. <laughs> oh, mine doesn't have it either. Can you uh, put it in Google Drive and share the link with her? Yeah, I, I can also try Discord. Uh, Discord will work. If you want, I can send you my email privately, either through Messenger or Discord. I have Discord, a file Discord worked. It. Discord right. worked. For sure. Check your Discord messages. Yeah, you can oh, file still. It's on the picture icon in the browser. So maybe it's like the mobile version has issues with it or something. All right, I got I might it. I need to Thank update. You. you got it? All right. I got it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sending you another one as well. If you check your messenger uh, messages. All right, for sure. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We have a sort of Edie. <laughs> no, Edie is dead. <laughs> I refuse to believe everything in this place is fucked up, including death. <laughs> okay. She'll at least come back to us in our nightmares. That I'm guaranteeing. Um, yeah, okay, well, I don't feel any, um, I don't feel any undead, I haven't seen, well, I haven't sensed the silent one in a while, which is concerning. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. In the door. All right. 
you grab the handle to open the door. As you grab the handle, one second, my thing is not loading. Okay. Okay. As you grab the handle, you feel a, a pinprick on the underside of the ring. As you pick it up to open it, you feel something pierce the skin. Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. The 15, um, 15 is what you needed. And so you are not poisoned for an hour. However, you do take seven points of poison damage as the needle on the other side um, pricks into your skin and poisons you. But you manage to open the trap door. Beneath the trap door, you see a set of descending stairs. Is it lit? It, it is lit. So it what it appears is that beneath the trap door, um, the stairs go down into what is the next level. Um, the the fortress is still destroyed in the middle where this pit is. So essentially you're just going down into the fortress and it's still pretty open. You're just basically going down to the next level. But you can't see how far down the stairs go. They kind of wind around okay. and you loot and you lose sight of them. Do we see any can I look for any footprints around the make stairs? a survival check. Okay. Oh that's not bad. Um plus two. That's a 19. Yeah, you you do in fact see the footprints leading down the stairs. Look, Gwen, they went this way. You could just roll our friends down the stairs so they're with us still. Roll them. I mean, the stairs are going down. Uh, I don't think they'd make it alive to the bottom. Uh, are you, hey, is your hand okay? Hey, just a little prick. What? Okay, but it's discolored. Let me, let me, may I? And she's going to um, look at it and, um, and give you uh, two points of lay on hands. Thank because you. Because I got more lay on hands when I leveled up. Yeah. Um. If it's all a big mistake, <laughs> much more than I can take. Oh. Me too, Quinn. You can't think that way. Because, hey, I'm not giving up today standing in my way and if they knock knock me over 
I will get back up again. I get knocked down. I get up again. Ain't nobody gonna keep me down. I'll oh, oh, her. <laughs> it's it a moment. <laughs> Sorry. He's not sorry. Look at that face. I'm not. <laughs> Those are brave and admirable words. Thank you. Um, have you seen Wood? She's walking around here somewhere. Do we see Wood? Yeah, Wynn is following you pensively, I think, at, at a safe distance. It, it's like that super nervous cat that isn't sure if they want to follow, but they're still going to follow, you know? Yeah. Wynn, do you... So so you're like, going, you're going down the stairs. No, no. I wanted to try and like offer to pick her up. Offer to pick up. Wid. I, I think she would allow that. Okay. Give give a little couple pets, but like respectfully. Mm -hmm. If she's purring, she'll make you feel better. That's true. Um, do you want to hold her? Let's pet her. <clears throat> Should we walk down a little bit? I can walk down a little bit. Is there a locking mechanism on this? You know about these things more than I do. I didn't see one when I checked. Um, I feel like we should just rip the, the whole door off just in case it closed behind us. You can roll madly on the door while it's open, so then she can just be the, <laughs> she can just be the wait to keep it open. I don't know if I'm strong enough. I do. I stop. I I feel like that that's disrespectful. I mean, if she's sleeping, and and she would feel better knowing that she was helping us, I think. Quinn, did I push Evie down? Uh, did you push Edie down? I didn't mean to. I tried so hard to keep her from falling. Um, you know, you really, you did your best and that's, that's all we can do here, especially here while everything is just so dark and bloody and not happy. And I think that you didn't. That means a lot. I'm going to say that Wid purrs in agreement, and Wid sure. also thinks that I didn't kill Edie. <laughs> we'll leave that to Wid, but. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're both on my side. <laughs> they're on team, team Ellie. <laughs> team I Ellie. Think just before Mavly fell asleep, she just, you know, she was just bickering, you girls. You ladies, you old women like to bicker back and forth, and she was just. Yeah, but she was accusing me of murder. 
That's a sentence that is not said very frequently. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I'm not reading the non Mavly stuff anymore. I can't I I I say no. I'm not looking You're at You're just lucky I'm not dead, but dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very I feel very lucky right now. In all seriousness, I love you, Chrissy, and you're amazing. Please don't take it personal because I don't think I'm you're actually a killer in real life. Okay. okay. I'm a real big fan of Nona. I love Just you. Saying. Oh, God. Now Quinn's gone. <laughs> you really are a serial killer. You <laughs> killed so yeah. many. <laughs> cat. It's just me and a cat. And I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, I think maybe I could carry Mavly, but I can't carry the other two. But also, if they somehow manage to break free of the stuff on their own, then I don't want, I think splitting the party through, like, evenly would be a better idea. Yes, Quinn. Quinn, oh my god, you came back for me. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If we if we we have two options. We have more than two options, but we have two options. One, we can stay here and just sleep. Which honestly sounds very nice. Or two, we could go down Just the, the three of us and leave our friends defenseless, but also maybe save the children. Uh, I just don't know when sleep has ever been nicer than being awake here. So I feel like whether I'm dreaming or I'm awake, it's going to be a terrible time. So that's not a factor in our decision, in my decision making. I mean, I would, I would ask Wid to be a bear and carry everybody, but I think she only can be two animals a day. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say that to Wid and then be like meow one for no and two for yes. I I don't think Wid has disclosed uh, how many times a day she can do it. Well, I've only seen her do two two different animals a day, so I'm extrapolating. So, which is why I'm asking Wid. Um, Wid is not in a state of mind that she's capable of speech. She's mumbling incoherently. Okay, oh, wait, wait, is she out of, of cat form now? She, periodically, she, like, comes out of one form and will, like, mumble to herself, curl, curled in a ball, and then she'll change into a different animal. And then after a while, she'll come out, mumble to herself, say things that are seemingly words put together in sentences that make no sense. Um, and then she'll like um, change into another animal. 
okay so i end up like bridal style carrying wid by accident sure oh oh yeah wait can you turn into a bear and carry these people no Quinn, maybe if you sing her a song, she'll turn into a bear. <laughs> All right. Um, no, no, I just, do you know a song? It's the teddy bear picnic song. Do you know that one? Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Nona will try to sing. Um, how would she sing? <laughs> I bet her voice is like really scratchy. She's definitely an alto. If you go out in the woods today, you bet. You're in for a big surprise. If you go out in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was was here in the because. Today is the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Is that a scary song? Because the woods that we've been in here <laughs> have not been very pleasant. I mean, maybe it only sounds scary when I sing it. But, um, yeah, no, I don't think that helped. Also, it's hard to sing when I'm carrying a woman that's bigger than I, and I set her down. Um, okay, well, um, I just don't feel good about leaving them alone, defenseless. Do you know how to talk to Lee Sword? Maybe it knows things. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, I've done it once. Um, I imagine Lee still has the sword in her hand. Did she have it in her hand when she got paralyzed? Nancy? Um, yes. Okay. Both the sword and the shield. So, will she, can I take it out of her hand? Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, mighty sword. Hello, dwarf. Thanks. Um, I... What has happened? Well, uh, one, Edie fell into the pit, and anyone who looked in the pit is now paralyzed. Ah, yes. That is unfortunate. It yep. seems many of your group have succumbed to this. Uh, did you know about the paralyzing part? I did not. However, I am not surprised. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you know what's down this uh these stairs in this door here we have entered into the domain of the nameless god in here leads to oblivion the endless expanse that which cannot be measured that which must be contained 
that's down the pit. Do you know what's down the stairs? I do not know for sure. Is this... Do you know anything about this building? Thing? What did you call it, Z? Palace? This is the fortress where the nameless god was trapped. Right. And there are levels... Yes. Do you know how many of them are there? I do not. It is very different from when last I was here. Oh. Uh, Quinn, he says it's very different from when last he was here. He here last? Yeah, when... Or I imagine it was when when the nameless god was sealed in. Is that when you were here last? Many eons ago. When, when, when the nameless god was sealed? I do not remember. That's fair. Uh, he doesn't remember. Um, but it was a long time ago. Do you, how is it different? I do not recall the fortress having been destroyed as it is now. Ah, when things were more intact back then. Um, and he doesn't know what's, he doesn't know what's down the stairs. Is, is that a is that a good thing or a bad thing? If it's breaking, that means that he's closer to breaking it. Probably. Um, does it does does? I assume that the fortress being in disrepair does not bode well for keeping the name of God in his domain. Is that a question? Yep. Yes. Okay. Do you have any more questions for him, Quinn? I don't know. I don't know. Does he know how to destroy him? Did we ever ask him that? If we did, I don't remember. Um, do, do you know how to? Well, no, because we're. Can the dome, can the nameless God be destroyed? No. No, he can't be destroyed, only trapped. Correct? What was the question? He can only be trapped. The nameless god was contained here. We must reseal the gate. Right. Uh, we're going to do that once we have kids. Um. Do we have to seal each gate? No, only the gate, the outermost, the great gate must be sealed okay. to contain the nameless God. Okay, okay. Um, we don't have to do anything with these other gates? Uh, so Nona would know this. The other gates did not have doors on them. They were just like archways. I figured though, if there maybe enough blood was spilled, like a blood door would be made oh, okay. or um, something. Yeah. So so the answer is uh, no. 
OK， 酷酷酷酷酷酷酷酷,酷，嗯、um, ，What's cool? Did he tell you secrets? He said that just the outermost door needs to be sealed, and we don't have it. Oh, excuse me. Stress you on. Um, we don't have to do anything at the other gates. They're just like time gates, and they don't have doors. So we're okay. Okay, so all we need to do is get the children before the door is open and fight whoever brought them here, and then we can all just run、yeah. out. And when the bad guys are chasing us, we can. Kill them so all their blood is at the doors, and our friends will be awake by the time that we get back. Hopefully. Um, but the problem is that if we leave them here, the silent one might eat them. So. Hmm. Is there a lock on the inside of the door? Maybe we can prop them up along the steps and lock the trap door from the inside.、Uh, there is no lock on the trap door. No, it, it's it's literally just like a panel of wood with a hinge at one end and the ring at the other. So you just like lift it up, and there's the stairway. Right. It, it's held shut by gravity. Uh, well, do you want to take? Do you want to take Wid with you and sneak around down there and see if we can find anything and come back up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. What is Wid right now?、Uh, a weasel. Ooh, nice. Cool. Those are small and quiet, right? Can I? Yeah. Tell Wid to. I'm gonna go first, and you stay a few stairs、uh, behind me, just in case something happens, and then you can still go up and tell Nona. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna stand guard over our silent friends. Cool. Quinn, descending the stairs causes a dizzying effect as you pass the floating objects. You travel about a hundred feet or so. The stairs. Begin to rapidly grow in size, and are no longer connected to one another, but rather are only connected to the wall of the chasm. There is a faint pulsing purple glow visible coming from below. As you continue going down another hundred feet or so, you hear a faint. A faint cry, like a cry for help. The, Make a perception check. Zero seventeen. With seventeen, about a hundred feet in front of you,、um, having to jump from stair to stair, braving the dizzying. Fall if you were to miss one of these jumps.、Um, further down, you see a small figure dangling on the edge of one of these steps. I want to help it. Okay, so you hurry, hurry down. As you get closer,、uh, you recognize this figure. And you begin to 
recognize the voice. And you what see- about if you make me cry twice? <laughs> you see hanging from barely hanging on as if hanging by a thread of her life, her fingers red bleeding as if she tried to catch many stones. You see Edie hanging by the tips of her fingers. Okay. Trying her best to hang on for dear life. Walter Zimmerman. <laughs> Okay, Edie, 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 I'm gonna try and help you. Um, help! Help me, please! Please, please help me out of here! Get me out of here, please! I want to at least grab her and try and hold her there so she isn't falling. I can try to pull her up. I tell Wid to either, either change into something that can help me or go get Nona. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Wid at this point uh, would change into a fairly larger animal. I'm going to say a mountain goat and start hopping her way back up, uh, le leaving you uh, with Edie. That okay. pregnant pause. Edie, 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 I'm going to I'm going to try and help you. Does she she I, I'm going to try and help her. Okay. I... God damn it, I didn't grab the stone. Edie, I'm here. I'm here. We're... I'm... Edie is a delirious mess currently. You evil Edie. What do you mean, evil Edie? There's only one of me. What do you mean, evil Edie? What do you? Okay. Quinn, help me, please. please. I'm gonna try and Here. pull her. I'm gonna try and okay, pull her. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, make a strength athletics check to pull her back onto the edge. A nine. Yeah, so you're you're pretty small. Edie's pretty small, but you're also very small. She's a comparable uh, size to you, but she has significantly more bulk. Edie is a very short stack of just muscle. Um, so she's heavier than you're used to, and you're having trouble pulling her up. Um, you're you're sweating. You're nervous. Her arms are slick with sweat and you're having trouble pulling her up. And it's not quite working, but after a while, gradually Edie begins to gain purchase on the rocks. And very slowly, the two of you manage to maneuver Edie onto the step with you. Edie, are you here? Are you okay? You're here! Hello? I really hope so. Are you, I... Edie's still kind of shaky. Okay. All right, um, let's let's just sit here for a minute. I think I called for help, um, and I just want to, I guess, look her over. I see if there's any wounds I can like water down. I don't. Edie, you're alive. You're alive. I, I guess so. I guess so. I, I, I don't know. 
how I, I just I, I scrambled and managed to to catch something. I, I, I how how am I here? Quinn, how am I here? Is it you? Did you sell your soul to the silent one to be here still? Are you okay? I, I think so. I feel like me. I, I don't know, Quinn. Okay, uh, here's, I have one berry. Here, please have my berry. I will uh, take, take the berry um, and eat the berry. It, it tastes like a good berry, uh, not particularly flavorful, but uh, heals you one HP. Cool. Healing is healing. Yep. This seems like much faster travel than the steps. <laughs> How long did it take the goat to get up? Um, she went down about two. What did I say? 200 to 300 feet. feet so pretty pretty far but it's a um, but before the goat gets to the top um it is just about 9 30 so i think we will call it there that way the goat interaction can happen when wid is here okay um and then we will um resolve this uh next week i apologize to the people who are paralyzed no worries. But but on the plus side, you had plenty of time to deal with your levels up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stop the recording here. Uh, where's my thing? There we go.